Stampers, Jackie Ball Heist from Compass Stampers. I'm stamping with you today from Zealand, Michigan. Hey, I've got some fun gift card holders for you. Now, Halloween is coming up soon, and I don't do a lot of Halloween projects, but I have adult kids that live all over the country, and I always love to send them a little something. So this year, I decided I would just send them a little gift card. Well, you gotta package it up cute, at least. So we're gonna do a gift card holder, but don't tune me out if you're not someone that does Halloween gifts or needs a Halloween gift card holder because the idea I have to share with you, you're going to be able to use it anytime. And the stamp set I have to share with you, it has Halloween, Valentine's Day, and Christmas. You know what? I send gift cards to those kids for all of those three holidays. So I'm going to just use this three different times. So it's all about how to make the gift card holder. You can make it for any occasion you want. And I wanna show you this fun kind of unique concept of a stamp set and coordinating dies. So real quick before I flip the camera around, just a quick reminder, if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that red button and make sure you subscribe. Share it with your friends, let them know about my channel. I am all about teaching quick and easy stamping projects mostly cards. Sometimes we throw in gift card holders or maybe a box here or there, but I love to teach quick and easy cards. I'm all about quick and easy. doesn't mean boring, but you know what? We don't all have a lot of time and we don't all have a ton of stuff. So let's keep it simple. So without further ado, let's go ahead, flip this camera down and get to today's project. The stamp set I'm using today is in the holiday catalog. Speaking of which, if you don't have one and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to send you a catalog if you'd like one. Go ahead, hop on over to my website. There'll be a link down in the description of the video where you can request a free catalog from me. So this is in that catalog. It is a bundle, so when you buy these two things together, you save 10% on it. But it's called Tags, Tags, Tags. Now this is where I said we've got three occasions here. We've got three different tags for Halloween, three different ones for Valentine's Day, and three different ones for Christmas. I think my kids are going to get Halloween, Valentine's Day, and Christmas, probably this exact same idea that I'm sharing with you today, which means I'll probably share another video with you as I progress through the different holidays here. So now the coordinating um, die is different because we have three tags all together on the one die. Now, when you look at these stamps, and I have one out already. Actually, let's look at the Halloween one, which I have out. You can see the stamp actually has all three on the stamp. So we can stamp once and cut once and have three different tags. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want all three of them, you just want one of them, you can certainly just ink up part of this or maybe... Um, stamp it on the edge of a paper and then just use part of the die. But for me, I need a bunch of tags. So I'm going to stamp all of them at once and cut all of them at once. So the other ones are in sets exactly the same way. So kind of a fun, different concept. And then there's a couple of fun other little doodads that you can jazz it up with. I'm not even using them on today's project. So let's set that aside. And remember, we're making a gift card holder, and you could really do this with absolutely any stamps. The focus is, is going to be more how we cut and score, and then we're going to add some designer series paper. But we need the tags as well for my project, so we're going to just go ahead, stamp, get a good image there. There's all three at once. And then I can take my die, and I can go ahead and line this up. It's a little bit tricky. The first one I goof, so I did have to do a practice, but once you get the hang of how this lines up, it's super easy. So I'm going to go run this through the big shot for you. Look at that. Three tags. That simple. So we'll set those aside. We're going to come back to them. Now let's go ahead and make our gift card holder. Let's get the ink out of the way so we don't mess that up. Now remember, this can be made with any colors, any designer series paper. We just happen to be making Halloween today. Now, I've taken my cardstock, which is four and a quarter by 11. Now, don't worry about all these measurements. I'll have a blog post, and again, the link is down in the description of the video. Hop on over to that blog post. I'll have pictures of the gift card holders, as well as all the dimensions for cutting and scoring for you. And then, if you'd like to order any of the products I'm using today, I'll have the links to do that as well. So, Back to this, 11 by four and a quarter. I have already scored it, I guess I went this direction, and I scored it one and a half, 
and then again at five and a half. Now when you score, one side has a little ridge, one side has the indent. The ridge should go to the inside. So we're gonna fold that, and then I like to use a bone folder just to kind of run over it, get a really nice fold in there. Now you should recognize this as a normal size card, okay? But here's where we did that extra little one and a half there. That we're gonna fold to the inside. This is creating our pocket for our gift card holder. Now, fun stuff, designer series paper. Look at how stinking cute these are. This is from the pack of paper in the holiday catalog called Monster Bash, I believe. And it's got some super adorable prints. So I just cut some pieces. Remember, we're doing quick and easy here. So this piece is four by three and a quarter. I did all the cutting for you before I came on camera here. And that will fit really nicely on that front panel. I'm using my liquid adhesive. That's always my adhesive of choice. And here we'll just have these little jars. Now, like I said, I don't do a lot of Halloween, so I really didn't want to buy the stamp set that coordinated with this. You know, I thought the tags are great because then I have, you know, I've got my Halloween tags that we're going to add on to here. And then I just purchased some designer series paper. So it doesn't have to be, you know, com the whole suite of products if you don't want to do a ton of Halloween. So this one, we're gonna go ahead and stick on that panel that we folded in. These are four by one and a quarter, both of them the same size. And then over on this flap, oh, before we glue it down, I'm gonna just grab a circle punch. Let's see, I have a one inch one here. It doesn't really matter what size you use. We're gonna just punch off a little bit of that. You know, I think when you're gonna pu push something in and pull it out, when you've got that little indent, it always, makes it look nice, then use this adhesive and we're gonna put just a little bit, oh, we got a little gob there, um, little bit down each end here, one there and one there. You don't want too much because you don't want it gooshing on you. And then when you flip it over, give it some good pressure, rub it really good, let that adhesive adhere on there really well. And then I have another piece of very vanilla because that's what coordinates with my paper here. And this is also four by three and three quarters. So the same size that we have the front piece. I'm going to close that up. And we're going to just add some adhesive on here. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp a, a little message on here. I'm going to just handwrite a little note to each of the kiddos on that. Okay, so there's that. Then for the front, I'm going to take the... Um, Glittery ribbon, I'm not sure what do they call this, glittered organdy ribbon. This is in the regular catalog and it's a little bit stiff, so it's kind of hard to tie a bow, but I'm a knot fan. Um, I don't tie bows very well unless it's really flexible ribbon. So with this, I'm gonna just crisscross it and we're gonna just tie a knot. So we'll tie it that way, hold your finger there, go ahead, use those ends. Notice when I cut this, I didn't cut it too skimpy. You know, I think sometimes we want to save ribbon, so we cut it so small and then it's super hard to tie. So I left myself plenty. You know, there's a lot on a spool. Don't worry about wasting it. And we're going to just trim those ends off. And then we'll take our tag. Let's see. Let's use this one. No, I don't want that one. We want the Sending Halloween. Sending a Halloween hello. And we'll just feed through. We're going to use some linen thread to attach this. So again, cut myself, whoops, plenty of that. Feed it through, and then I'm gonna tie this around our little piece of glitter ribbon there. So we got the little shimmer going, but we'll use the linen thread to, um, let's go on the other side here, to tie our tag on. So we can just do a little bow with this. Okay, this I can tie bows, and this stuff's easy to tie bows. And then tie your bow, and you know, pull it down here. I put my thumb on there to hold where the bow is tied and then you can easily adjust these ends to the size you want. Trim them off. And then if you want to, you know, if you don't like the floppy of this, you can you could stick a little dimensional down there to hold it in place. I had to grab my dimensionals. Didn't have them right here. So we're gonna just go ahead and stick one under here. We'll just put it on one side there and then we can kind of offset it a little bit. And there we go. Sending a Halloween hello. There's our spot for our gift card. 
So I have one here from Panera Bread, which isn't that stinking cute? My kids have a wiener dog, so that makes it even more perfect. And we can stick that right inside like so. I'll write a little message and it is ready to send off. So I have another one here all ready to go. I just need to add the vanilla in the inside and I will add another tag on there. And then I need to do a little more cutting and I have that one. I already did a couple here. So you'll see here's that same one. This time we got a Chick-fil-A card in there, but I just used a couple different colors. So hope you like this easy peasy gift card holder fits in a regular envelope to send it off. And I'm sure I'm going to be sharing more with you using the same stamp set for Christmas gift card holders and then Valentine's Day gift holders. So if you want to do a little something for Halloween, but you don't want to invest in a lot of Halloween stuff, this is a perfect way to do it. Some cute little designer series paper, get a greeting set that will also carry you through several other holidays and you're ready to go. So once again, hop on over to the website if you'd like uh, to see pictures of these as well as all the cutting and scoring dimensions. So I hope you like this. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to let me know. I'm here to help you to answer your questions. I love teaching quick and easy stamping and I'm here to help you in any way that I can. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.